You all had so many creative thoughts and comments on my video about a Legends Johto game that I thought it only right that I follow up with another region. But we're not going to continue on the Johto train or even talk about Unova as another possibility. Heck, I don't even want to talk about Kalos, which I think would be amazing for a Legends game. We really want that Pokemon Z element. No, I'm going to talk about the Legends game that absolutely is a zero priority for Pokemon that will not happen. The only Pokemon region less likely to get a Legends game at this point is Paldea. And that is the region most recently remade before Sinnoh got its remake and Legends game, a Legends Hoenn game. And for this video, I have to say three thank yous for making a video like this possible. First is Alex Allen, who always does the most amazing artwork. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. His artwork is just always the best. You are super familiar with it by now from other Fakemon projects, including the Legends Johto video. And of course, to today's sponsor, who allows for me to get that artwork commission. What not? It's a live buying and selling platform that you can access using the link at the top of the description or the QR code on screen. In fact, if you do so and sign up, you get £10 free credit to spend on any Pokemon cards over there. It's a live buying and selling platform for Pokemon collectibles. I've got a stream coming up where I'm going to be selling packs of 151, which is coming up. In fact, I have some packs already there that you can put in pre-bids for if you click that link and or scan the qr code and just head on over make sure you've got my upcoming streams favorited i'm also going to be selling a bunch of exclusive pokemon merch that i've picked up in japan so thank you to whatnot for sponsoring this video and of course the first thank you goes to hoops and hip hop who will be joining me for this video that's right i am here to help toby out with this one but over on my channel he's also helping me explore what a legends kanto game would be like which of these two topics is probably a lot more likely, so be sure to check that video out after this one, but for now, let's go ahead and jump back into Hoenn. Hoenn at this time is a lot more settled than the Savage Hisui region in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Therefore, you will see that some more urban settlements actually do in fact exist, such as Oldell, Slateport, Rustboro, Lily Cove, and Mossdeep. However, there will still be some more nature-focused groups that live around the areas of Granite Cave in Doofertown, below Mount Chimney in Lava Ridge Town, and of course, in Fortree City. Sutopolis doesn't quite exist yet, however, because much like in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the backdrop of this game is going to be the threat of a meteorite coming down and crashing into the region, which one day will create the setting and home for the future Sutopolis city. In the current day, we know this simply as the story of how this city began, but to the people of Old Hoenn, this is going to seem apocalyptic, as a thousand years prior to the modern day, the homes of the Old Dracodon people were destroyed by these meteorites, which ultimately created the Meteor Falls, and a meteorite of this magnitude could also reawaken the primal Groudon and Kyogre. Because of this incoming meteorites, smaller meteorites have been showering ahead, and these shards have been transforming certain Pokemon and allowing for Mega Pokemon to exist in the overworld, much like Alpha Pokemon in Legends Arceus. So all previously existing Megas are here. Apart from, say, Mega Mewtwo, because that just really wouldn't make sense. I can't imagine Mewtwo existing in this overworld. And speaking of this overworld, let's talk about the map and, of course, the starters. Hoenn, at its core, is made up of three distinct sections. The land, sea, and sky. It's a big part of the theming of the generation. So let's put a player somewhere central in the map, somewhere that works as an access point to all of this. Introducing this game's version of Jubilife Village, Pacifilog Village. But to be clear, much like Jubilife Village isn't actually the area that becomes Jubilife City, in fact it becomes Canalive, uh, Canalive City. It is a city. This is the area that will one day become Slayport City, but for now it's Pacifilog Town, or Pacifilog Village. With the village being positioned half and half on the land and on the water. Land on the west side of town, water on the east side of town. This is a microcosm of the entire region, which largely is land to the west and water to the east. Dominating this landscape, Groudon sleeps in a volcano on the western side of the region. This, of course, is Mount Chimney. Groudon is living there, while Kyogre sleeps to the northwest in what is currently Shoal Cave. And of course, above you all is the sky, where the third legendary Pokemon lives. But this is enough waiting, I know what you want. You want Fakemon. So let's give you a creature, a partner Pokemon, that's going to help you traverse these three unique locations. 
So, first and foremost, as you might expect, there's going to be new ancient Hoenian forms. And just like Coridon and Miraidon in Scarlet and Violet, or the Ride Pokemon in Legends Arceus, you're going to need a way to traverse all of these different environments. You're going to need the kind of creature, in fact, that can handle swimming, flying, and land traversal, and the kind of creature that can do that is a dragon, and who better to become part dragon type than your very own starter Pokemon? In this more ancient time, the draconic energy from the meteorites that have fallen on the region have given your starter Pokemon, Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip, the ability to evolve into these draconic forms that are inspired by the dragons from Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and Spirited Away. These starter Pokemon are said to have helped the Draconids of old communicate with a great dragon of the Hoenn region. Each one of them has their own specialty as well, with Sceptile being slightly faster at traversing the land, Swampert of course with its swimming ability, and Blaziken is going to be able to glide a little faster thanks to the wings on its shoulders. So these are the Pokemon that you can expect to start out with and adventure with during your adventure in Legends Hoenn, but there are also going to be other new Pokemon in Old Hoenn as well. At this time, both Trevenant and Cramoran existed in Hoenn, and they looked a little bit more retro. Hoennian, if that's the word for it, Trevenant is a ghost dark type Pokemon, and actually these Pokemon were a trouble for the people of Four Tree City, who had to conquer these Pokemon and vanquish them from the area before they could settle. They're inspired by the Birch Tree of old, and of course, Birch is the name of the regional professor. Their stark white appearance represents the decay of life. Cramoran here are inspired by Pterosaurs instead, and they are the Wingle of of their time. They dive down to poach love disc, barboach, and occasionally people out of the water, but they are largely considered a pest. They are water dragon type, and actually the idea for this artwork was inspired by what I found on Google Images of a Paradox Cramoran. I think it's a wonderful idea, and I like the idea that over time this Pokemon was too aggressive, and that's how Wingull managed to thrive. Looking to the people of this region, Birch, Norman, Zinnia, and Steven all could have ancestors here, but some other reoccurring faces could also be an ancestor to the frontier brain Spencer, who could be a village leader, or the pyramid king Brandon, who could be a researcher. Kabu from Pokemon Sword and Shield is also said to be from Hoenn too, so meeting his ancestor here would also be really cool. We also suspect that Archie, Maxie, and Drake's ancestors could potentially be running and leading some sea, sky, and land clans, who in fact over time could eventually move north and become the Diamond and Pearl clans because we see Archie and Maxie's pictures in the tents of these people from Legends Arceus. Finally, thanks to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, we also know that AZ has visited the Hoenn region because of the eternal flower from his floet that we can see planted in Sutopolis City, so I suspect that AZ could also possibly appear here as well, which would be insanely cool. Right, let's do some more forms, because much like in Legends Arceus, where some currently existing Pokemon were able to evolve into new forms, so too is the case for Hoenn, and Hoenn Pokemon evolved so much better in the ancient world. For these, I have chosen an evolution to Torkoal and Wishcash, one for the land and one for the sea, but it's actually the other way on to what you'd expect. Let's take a look at Torkoal. Torkoal in ancient times could evolve into a new form which you're going to have to help me name in the comments down below. This form, while fire rock type, existed happily in the oceans, able to warm its internal body temperature using the volcano on its back, and this meant that it was always comfortable at sea. In fact, I'm sure it would have an ability which means it's immune to water type attacks, making it incredibly powerful. A bulky wall to hide behind. This Pokemon absolutely would happily swim around Mount Chimney's crater, but it also would swim in the open oceans of the world. And this would be the kind of Pokemon that would have an area damage effect, meaning if you get too close to it in this Legends-style game, you might end up taking damage from the sheer heat it produces. 
Wish Cash is the opposite of this. It's still water ground type, this evolution, but it's now a fully land-based creature. And again, much like Torkoal will damage you out in the sea. If you get too close to this Pokemon on land, it will cause giant earthquake attacks to head your way. So look out. Also, anywhere where the earth is remotely soft and mud-like, it can dive down into the mud and reappear pretty much anywhere. This is the most effective user of Dig. Finally, we also have the biomes that you're going to be able to visit in this game as well. As you travel across Hoenn, you're going to find yourself visiting eight different areas. You're going to have the volcanic and icy caves of Mount Chimney and Shoal Cave, where Groudon and Kyogre will eventually be awakened from, and the sky is of course where you're going to be doing battle with Rayquaza after the game is over in the post-game, while you're riding on the back of your starter Pokémon. But the sky, as well as the desert, Fortree Jungle, Deep Sea, Open Sea, and Iron Age City, as well as those cave areas, are all explorable. In each area, a Meteorite Shard has infused with a Pokémon that is going to act as a boss Pokémon similar to the Nobles from Legends Arceus. In the desert, this Pokémon will be Flygon, of course. In the jungle, you'll find a Slacking that is Rampaging. In the open water, you'll find Milotic. And in the deep water, you'll find Sharpedo. In the Iron Age City, you'll find an Agron that is responsible for various destruction, and between them and the Regis, you'll be kept plenty busy because you're also going to find that Reggie Aleki and Reggie Drago are also here as well. Of these boss Pokémon, the non-legendary ones like Flygon and Slacking you're going to find have been affected by these meteorites that have fallen down on the region, as I mentioned, but you're also going to see that this has affected their appearance as well. For example, this is what Flygon would look like in this meteorite-infected form. Understanding and figuring out what is happening to these Pokémon and curing them of this infected form is going to be the key to understanding the threat that Hoenn is facing during this time frame and also being able to stop the threat before it's too late. You could actually think about this as a similar sort of form to Shadow Pokémon from Pokémon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness, where it's up to you to be able to obtain and cure these Pokémon to help get them back to normal, and then eventually save the region. And that is, of course, what a Legends Hoenn game would look like. I would love it if we could see something like this, but I think it's unlikely. By the time we get to a Hoenn revisit in the future, I suspect we'll have moved on from Legends games, though I hope not. Thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Also, check out our video over on Hoops' channel, which is available using the link on screen. Thank you all for watching, and of course, Saw High Pokemon Masters. Hello there, it's me, Professor Oak. This video is over, so please choose another one wisely and quickly. Bye-bye. I owe the biggest debt of gratitude to those of you who have been supporting me over the years, including the big patrons of this month, New Orca, Michael Hornshoe, Lucas Gates, Jed Rubin, Charmander Ansible, and Anthony Lee. Thank you so much.